one promise that I made to myself um, that when my rugby career ended, I would continue to live the rest of my life in the identity, in the body that I, I should have. And that's a really difficult thing to do in this time of day. I mean, all you have to do is turn on the TV, look on social media platforms, and you can see the amount of bullying, harm and discrimination that goes on about gender identities. It's extremely harmful. So for someone to be open and honest about that um, to the public eye is absolutely daunting. This is the first time that I have been so open to talk about this. And the main reason is because I am so worried about the reaction of people or will people treat me differently? Will friends or family love me any less? You know, are people going to get a shock? Um, you know, what will, what will the media say about me? And the thing is, even without changing genders, changing appearance, identity, people are always going to have something to say, whether that be positive or negative. And I've learned that in 10 years of being a professional rugby player. So why not just live the rest of your life exactly as you want to be, because life is just too short.